Hello and welcome to Steam on the Road. If you're new here, my name's Dan and these vlogs are my journey uh, buying and running a miniature traction engine. Something which at the moment has seemed harder and harder to achieve. So far I've had a fantastic day with Tom at Legacy Vehicles where we were steaming a 6 inch little Samson which unfortunately was sold before I could buy it. Um, not necessarily an entirely bad thing because I, I've come to the conclusion now it's probably a little bit small for what I want. So I went down to Berrybrook and had a fantastic day steaming a 6 inch uh, Burrell gold metal tractor which whilst I thought was fantastic in a lot of ways um, I decided not to buy because there were some issues I felt with the way that the engine had been finished and some quality issues associated with it. The video today is about our visit to the Statfold uh, Miniatures and Steam Festival. Um, a great, great day at Statfold. It's amazing. I, 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 you know, I'm just astonished that I didn't know about the place and I've never been there before. This is about the Miniature Steam Festival. Statfold Barn Farm was bought by Graham Lee and his wife Carol in 1992 and it was here that the railway was founded. They originally designed what is still termed a garden railway in which Graham could run his trains and Carol could design an extensive English country garden around a lake. Graham already had commercial interests in the rail sector and had acquired the remains of the Hunslet Engine Company and the last engine that they had built and supplied to an Indonesian sugar plantation. He had noticed that in this period that there were a number of other defunct European engines in Indonesia and set about recovering these as well. The railway that exists now grew over the next years and in 2017 Graham and Carroll gave the collection of over 100 locomotives and associated vehicles, equipment and ephemera to the newly formed Statfold Narrow Gauge Museum Trust to ensure the collection was retained and maintained at its current site. Today the railway has a workshop where locomotives are built and restored as well as the extensive railway and tram operations. I've, uh, I've admired uh, this for some time on the uh, on Facebook on the uh, 
Well, who'd been, been round a bit earlier? It was for sale, but I just had a problem with it, so I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I'm steaming up for the second time. <laughs> is it a nine inch then? No, it's six. It's just a six. It's a big six, though, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's quite big for a. Uh, yeah, it's, it's modern on an eight horse full size, so it doesn't yeah. make uh, a big engine. This is a six inch showman's engine. It's called the General Goff and it's a model of a full size of the same name. Um, there is a great yeah. YouTube video. If you uh, search uh, General Goff high speed, there's a great Benny Hill soundtrack and it uh, does show you an awful lot about this engine. It's a, uh, this is really is a piece of work though and is uh, maintained by uh, Adrian Nutting who uh, many of you may know is a, a real, um, uh, a steam professional and is, is manufacturing castings and engineering for a number of different uh, engines. Adrian, it was great to meet you this weekend and uh, yeah, look forward to seeing you again. So I think what we've got at the moment is the uh, stat fold equivalent of the Avengers Assemble. I think he's uh, got some decent pressure up there.
Paul, give me a round of applause as they go past us, ladies and gentlemen. There's an awful lot of work just to get them to go around the arena and around our circuit here. But it's an absolute pleasure to see. A parade of miniatures which you're very unlikely to see very often this year. Or very often again, so please make the most of it. Don't be shy, give me a nice round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. There's an awful lot of uh, enthusiasm goes into making sure these machines get here and keep running to show us a super display like we can see here today. Some very, very, very wonderful examples of seeing a miniature here today, ladies and gentlemen. I think you'll agree we have a, a display that well, you can only dream of in the normal days of it. And some very enthusiastic people on these machines. Please, one of the things that people always say to us is we we'll, we'll to well talk these gentlemen and ladies on these engines and with these miniatures today some of the nicest and most welcoming people you could wish to meet. So if when they finish the parade round our perimeter road, you want to go up to them or you want to ask questions about their machine or how you get involved in steam and military, then please feel free to do so. The guys and girls love to talk about these engines and are more than happy to have a conversation with you, so do not be afraid to talk to them. Talk and talk and have a long retreat. We switch it back to a gentleman.
Statfold itself I was incredibly impressed with and there's going to be another video that follows this um, which goes through the steam train side of Statfold. Um, an amazing setup for an individual's effectively private toy set and uh, uh, I, there's going to be a whole, whole video about that so uh, look out for that coming up soon. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next one.